Another question from the crowd over here to the left, Governor, is Daniel Klecker. And Daniel is actually a student, incoming freshman student here at UT Tyler, correct? Yes, ma'am. Welcome. Congratulations. <clears throat> All right, so with the recent announcement of the retirement of U.S. Representative Kenny Merchant, that marks the fourth Texas GOP member of the United States Congress to announce their retirement within the past six months. What does this mean for the future of Texas politics, and does this represent a shift in the values and goals of the Texas GOP party? If so, where do you believe they're shifting to? Well, first, uh, congratulations to you. So uh, you're an incoming freshman here at the University of Texas, Tyler? Yes, sir. Congratulations to you. You study political science? Uh, yes, sir. There you go. <laughs> Do you want my job one day? Uh, listen, there are, retirement, there are retirements every year. It, it could be Congress, it could be Senate, it could be the Texas House or Texas Senate. Uh, he had been there, I don't know how many years, but there is a time for all of us to go. Believe it or not, there's going to be one day when I retire also. Hopefully not anytime soon, uh, but there's, people can't stay in office forever. That's point one. But let me answer the other key part of your question, and that is, is there any big dynamic change going on in the state of Texas? No, the, the, the political ties of the state of Texas are not staying. Texas is a red state. It is going to stay a red state after this next election. We passed an entire load of what I will call conservative legislation that was good for everybody in the state of Texas. Understand this, uh, in addition to passing the property tax reform package that we did, uh, we also passed a balanced budget that satisfied all four constitutional limitations on spending while also using $5 billion to buy down your property tax rates on average by about 7% across the entire state of Texas. But <laughs> also on top of that, we had a freedom agenda, an agenda uh, that ensured that we would free people from government overreach by passing laws like banning red light cameras. <laughs> by protecting free speech on college campuses like this, guaranteeing you the right to speak your conservative values here at UT Tyler by legalizing the ability of youngsters in Texas to have lemonade stands without having to get a permit from their city to be able to sell lemonade. And let me mention just one last one that's important because you are a part of it. We passed a proposition in this session that's going to be on the ballot this November where you can help drive a stake through the heart of Texas ever having an income tax. Vote yes for Proposition 4 and prohibit an income tax in Texas.